Hello, this is Kenny. Welcome to Blues lesson number one. I was originally just going to teach this lesson as part of the normal lessons integrated in with the classical ones, but then I got thinking, no, I'm going to have to do several of these. So I decided to make a whole series of blues lessons, and this is the first one. Now the blues is one of the most important things if you want to play, especially pop, rock, or jazz or anything, the blues are just so important to learn in the popular world. You know, it applies to soul music, it applies to, it applies to gospel music, it applies to almost all kinds of popular music, including, of course, the blues, <laughs> right? Now, this first lesson, all I want to do not to be using much left hand. I want you to get used to what's called the blues scales. And there's a few of them that you have to know, but they're not really that hard. And these are not scales that you have to practice to get your technique up, like, this, like the major scales and stuff. You can do that, but that's not the point with them. This is what you want to get your hearing around, all right? This is also, you know, a theory lesson. It's also a hearing lesson, but you want to get that idea of what does the blues sound like. It's okay, and it's just based on certain little scales. But in order to get to the blues scales, there's these things I want to introduce called pentatonic scales. Now pentatonic just means, pent means five. All right, it's a five note scale. And believe it or not, this is the most common scale on the whole planet. You'll hear it in Asian music, South American music, all kinds of music. But it is a five note scale that sounds like this. That is the major pentatonic scale, five notes. Okay? And yeah, it does sort of sound oriental in a way. but it's a very common scale, all right, to get you into the blues. And I'll explain that in a minute. But in order to find the pentatonic scale, I've put these sheets here, all right? Now, what I've done here, I've written the notes, okay? Here's the notes of the C pentatonic scale. C, D, E, G, A, and then you go back to C. All right? And what I've done here is, you'll see I put an M2, a big M2, right there. That means it's a major second up, all right? So when you're trying to play this in other keys, you'll be able to figure it out by yourself, all right? And a major second below my, down, down there below my face there, I put a little cheat seat there, or there, okay? And it just says major second is two semitones up, one, two. And then up to another two seventy toes, two there. And a minor third, the little M means a minor third. That is up to three. And then another major second. And then another minor third. All right. But there they all are. Okay, by using that same pattern, you could start this in the key of G. G. Up two semitones, up two semitones, up three semitones, up two semitones, and three again. So that way you'll be able to figure it out in every other key. I'm going to stick to the key of C for this, all right? However, there's one thing I do want to bring to your example here, is the easiest one to figure out, and it only really works on a piano or something, it's the F sharp major one. It's just all the black notes. Very easy to figure out. Starting on the F sharp. All right. You know, and there was a real corny thing. When I was young, people used to just, I don't even know if this has a name, just, you know, put a comment in here if you know what this sounds like. But this is pentatonic too. Okay. It's a really corny thing kids used to play. I don't know what it was about, you know. All right, but
But that is still in a pentatonic thing. Okay, that's just an aside, a silly aside, all right? All right, now, to get back to C pentatonic, to make it into C major blues, right here, we add what is called a blues note. And that's what they actually call it, a blues note. So we're adding this E flat to it. And all of a sudden, we've got the C major blues scale. All right, this is not the most common one. We will get to the next most common one very soon. But all we are doing here is adding into the pentatonic scale a flattened E. All right, so you got this really bluesy kind of. Okay, likewise, in that same little F sharp one, if I add the flattened a to it. Okay, that would be the F sharp major blues scale. Okay, all right. Now onward to the more common forms of pentatonic and minor blues scales. The minor pentatonic goes like this, okay, and you can see it down here. Oops, I made a mistake, I put a D in there, but that doesn't really matter. It's a little weirder sounding than the major one, okay? And in this case, it goes up three semitones, up two more for the major second, up two more for the major second, up three more semitones for the minor third, and up two more to get back to that C, all right? It almost has a bit of a blues flavor as it stands, but the C minor blues, it adds again a blues note, okay? And this blue note happens to be right here, all right? We added this G flat, so here now, and that already is sounding really bluesy. Okay, and all we've done, in between the F and the G there, we've put a G flat. You could call it an F sharp if you want. Okay, but that is the C minor blues one. And this one is, sometimes if you're playing with people, and they just say, just play this, the C blues, okay? C blues scale. They don't even say the minor blues because this is the most common one, not nearly as common as the major one. All right, this is the really blues sounding thing. Okay, that is the C minor blues scale, and all it is is the C minor pentatonic with the added blues note. That G flat that gives it that really bluesy sound really easy to do. So the whole purpose of this lesson is to get you listening to what these things sound like. Just play along with it. You could just go slow. That was the major one. And play along with the minor one. All right? And you can add those other notes. You know, you notice there's no D in here. You can play a D in there. All right? It's, just because it's not in the scale doesn't mean you can't play it. It's in there, you know, you, you can add it any time you want, all right? The other scale that's sometimes used in blues is just the seventh scale, the, all right? Remember, I, I taught a lesson where you got the dominant seventh, all right? The C major scale. But instead of that B natural, just lower that seventh note a semitone instead of, you'll hear that seventh there. And it has its own blue sound in its own, okay? All right, 
And that's not really got a name at all. It's just the C, C7 dominant chord there, but it has a blues sound all by itself. All right, and you can mix these all up. All right, I'll just play a little bit with the C major blues, and then can change it to the C minor, and then to end with that seventh chord. So mix them up. You know, there's no rules in the blues. That's one of the beautiful things about the blues. You can almost play it at any grade level. You know, right now we're starting to learn in grade two. You could have learned it in grade one because all you want to learn is those sounds. Or this one. And mess it around. You're allowed to crunch notes. This is one thing you can do in blues. You can crunch things or you can just twist them around. Or Okay, have fun. This is the main idea of what the blues is about. And also do add, if you're just getting a little bored with the sound. Okay, the next lesson I will teach you the left hand. I haven't been playing any left hand, but all you really need to do just to make some good sounding left hand, you can just play a C to G, just a couple notes. Or the F and the C. In the next lesson, the blues lesson number two, I will teach you the 12 chord blues and more interesting kinds of basses like the, there's lots, all kinds of basses you can do that. All right, you can try all kinds of stuff, but I'll be teaching the left hand in a second lesson. I just want the first lesson to get the idea of what these things sound like. Now to end this, I'm using an electric piano, all right? And I'm sure a lot of people now are. And I like the sound of the piano. However, in the blues, sometimes you might want to change that up a bit. An electric piano is good for doing this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this into an organ sound. All right, or another organ sound. Liz. Because blues organ sounds really good. You can fool around if your instrument actually changes sounds. Have some fun with it. It doesn't have to be a piano sound. And there's another one, an electric piano, for example. All right, so have fun with the blues. I'm actually going to be hopefully within the next week have an actual organ in my place and I might be able to play some blues on that but I have to learn how to play an actual organ myself so I'll be taking a couple lessons on that but in the meantime just enjoy yourself all right don't be afraid of the blues anyone can play it just have fun <laughs>